Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to my lip stain tournament. I'm bringing this series back so I hope you're excited and let me know what category of products you'd like to see next in the comments down below. But today my lip stains are going to be competing against one another and at the end we're going to find out which lip stain formula is my favorite. I've recently acquired a lot of lip stains. They're quickly becoming my favorite lip product for so many reasons. I just love the watercolor-esque effect that they add to the lips. The longevity is awesome and many different textures which is so fun to experiment with. So with that said, let the tournament begin. So here's a look at today's bracket. I have a few things to note before we really get into it. So in the b-roll clips where I swatch the products on my lips, try to look at the application and the finish more so than the color payoff because near the end of all those swatches my lips got really stained of course. I did try to film those clips over a course of a few days but unfortunately I formatted my memory card just because of habit so I had to refilm them quickly. I did swatch all of the shades I used in today's video on my arm so you can get a better representation of the color and how well it stains. So I hope that's helpful. But let's get started. We're going to be starting on the left and the first round always takes a bit because I talk about my full experience with each product. So up top we have the Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stains from Milani versus the Poutsicle Lip Stains from Fenty. So I find these formulas to be very similar. Fenty is a little bit thinner, maybe slightly less opaque in comparison to the Milani, but they both have a gorgeous, super glossy lacquered look top layer to them paired with a very intense stain. These are the most intense stains out of them all in today's video. They have gorgeous, very punchy colors and they perform beautifully. But when it comes down to it, I think I'm more interested in the Milani ones because the shades speak to me a bit better. The Fenty Beauty ones are very, very vibrant and I don't often go to those. I like kind of like rustier reds and like more autumn toned lip stains, I guess. But both formulas are fantastic, but my heart is with Milani on this round. They win the first little little bit. So below that, we have the Etude House Dear Darling Water Tint versus the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tints. So I paired these together because these ones don't have a top layer, they're just the stain. I really like the Milk Makeup ones for a multitude of reasons. I think they're really fun to work with, really fun texture because they are that kind of jello-y bouncy feel. They have a very intense stain to them as well and they're super long wearing but I don't like it on the lips. I like this just for the cheeks. For the lips I find that it stains the inner ring of my lips like crazy because I am someone who bites my lips if I'm a little anxious. Every time I've used this on my lips I've had to use like something a little bit more opaque to make it look more even. But for the Dear Darling water tint it can be a little bit tricky to use because it's so liquidy but it performs really well, has an amazing longevity, it stains really nice and evenly. I love this product. Every time the weather gets warmer, I think of this product first. Like I cannot wait to create like a monochromatic red toned look with it. Like it's one of my favorite products I have in my collection for sure. It's pretty similar to the Benefit Benetint, which you may be wondering why it isn't in this video and it's because I don't have it and at the time I did have it I didn't appreciate the art of a lip stain yet. I didn't know what was good for me then. So the water tint is winning this round. <laughs> Below those we have the Dasic Cream de Rose tints and the Huda Beauty matte lip tints. So these are both matte textures. They don't have like a glossy top layer to them. Their top layer is like a soft silky matte feel. So I was super excited about the Huda Beauty ones because the shades were a little bit different. They had some fun cool tones, some peachy tones, whereas a lot of my lip stains lean a bit more red based. So I was a big fan of them in the beginning, but the more I used them, the more I was disappointed by them and I inevitably decluttered them. <laughs> so the stains did not last well at all. The top layer was also very drying. I found that these really dehydrated my lips over the course of wearing it. So it was not a great formula. And for the Dasic ones, I've only used these very few times just because the finish isn't what I think of when I go for a lip stain right now. It it's not my favorite. It feels a little bit drying, but the stain is nice. It's nice and even. It's way more comfortable and it performs a lot better than the Huda Beauty formula, so they are moving forward. Now below are the two products that really got me hooked on lip stains. So we have the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils versus the Romand Juicy Lasting Tints. So these are similar. They both have like that nice super glossy lacquered look to them but they're just a little less opaque than the Milani and the Fenty and their stains aren't as intense I guess but they're still they're still pretty staining. They both have 
a very similar feel. I would just say the Rare Beauty ones feel a bit colder on the lips. It has like a little bit of a cooling sensation, which is nice, but the finish is very similar. I would say the top layer for the Rare Beauty ones is a little bit more opaque and intense, but I do prefer the shades that the Romand Juicy Lasting Tints come in. They have so many colors and they continue to launch more shades. It feels like all the time. Romand is definitely winning this round. Although I do really love the Rare Beauty ones, the shades that the Romand ones come in just automatically win. So there's that side done. Now let's go to the right. Here we've got the Armani Lip Maestro Satins versus the Clio Crystal Glam Tint, clear as Twinkle Crystal. <laughs> the Clio one is actually the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing the shade 08 Gentle Cinnamon and it's gorgeous. So I have to thank today's video for helping me rediscover this color because it's absolutely stunning. So I was obsessed with the Armani one for such a long time. It's like a really nice soft, powdery pink lip tint and I like its finish because it's a satin so an in-between of like a gloss and a matte it's just that perfect blend but my love for this has kind of faded this Clio tint is just so nice I really like this one's texture on the lip instead of like a gloss feel it has kind of like a hydrating balmy texture which I like that once in a while a lot of these other ones feel watery or like they don't have like a nice grip to them whereas this one lasts really well because it has that kind of glossy grip to it which I really like this one is winning. <laughs> That's the clear winner for me for sure. In the next little bracket, we have the Lancome, I forget the actual name for these, but this was my first introduction to a lip stain, but I paired it with the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stains, which are very similar. Lancome was actually one of my first sponsorships, which was so fun, and I was in love with this product. It's what really started it all for me. I look at this so fondly, like it has a lot of meaning to me. I loved it, and it was at a time where everyone was obsessed with liquid lipsticks, like the super drying butthole lip effect liquid lipsticks, like it was so drying. So these really were different and it was just gorgeous. They stained beautifully, had that gorgeous lacquered lip look to them. Do not be fooled. They still show up on Sephora online. Um, do not buy it because I bought one recently and it was like pretty chunky and expired and I was, I returned it, <laughs> but I was like, why are they still selling this? It's crazy. This is another one of my favorite products that's been discontinued, which is so unfortunate. I just find the e.l.f. ones are a lot more subdued and natural. Like if you're someone who just wants like a quick tint that's going to last well, but it's not going to be super, super vibrant and staining and just out there, just looks really, really nice and hydrating and flattering. You're going to love these. I've loved them for so long. My favorite shade is still Power Mauves. I often reach for these still. They're a gem, so they're going to be moving forward, especially since I got so grossed out from that one I bought from Sephora. <laughs> Now we've got the Peripera Ink Mood Glowy Tints versus the Amuse Dew Tints. So these are very similar to one another. The more lip stains I try, they're starting to mesh together in my brain, but the Amuse Dew Tints are so nice. The quality is so there. The texture is really, really nice. It's super thin, kind of like that watery, lightweight texture, and it has like such a glassy lip gloss look to them. I love them. The shades are also stunning. I just have one complaint about the shades. I have like six or seven of them, and they don't look very different from one another. They all turn like this shade of pink, but I just have ones that look like light pink and some that are dark pink yeah, but they all kind of look very similar to one another but the staining quality of this one is really really nice i would say it's on par to the milani and the fenty but just a little sheerer and not as opaque and in your face really nice and even doesn't dry out your lips at all i use these so often i think my favorite shade is du buksunga and sunday those are gorge and the peri pear ones i haven't had that much experience with them they're just simply a formula that kind of gets lost with all of these other ones and i much prefer the amuse one so they're winning so in the last little bracket on the right, we have the Clio Dewy Blur Tints versus the Romand Glasting Water Tints. These are two that really don't compare to one another, really. It was just the last ones that didn't really have a place. The Clio one does have 
kind of like a unique texture to it. It looks glossy at first, but then it kind of sets down like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't feel as drying and suffocating for your lips as like a classic liquid lipstick. But it does have like that nice satiny, almost matte look to it with an okay stain. Like the stain isn't that great to me, but speaking about the Romand water tint here, this is on another level for me. I continue to collect the shades that they launch. They don't have as many shades as the Juicy Lasting tints, which is unfortunate because I think I do prefer the water tint. Tints. It's such a unique experience because I've said this before, but the water tints is like a lip combo in one product. It looks like you've layered a few products to get the effect it adds. It's so cool. So on the bottom, you have that glorious, beautiful tint, and on top is a beautiful, glossy glaze that fills in your lip lines really nicely and it just makes your lips look really nice and hydrated and plumped. It's a very unique product and I just adore it. So that is a no-brainer for me. Romand wins this round too. Okay, so now this is where it gets a little spicy. So jumping back to the top left, we have the Milani Lip Stains versus the Dear Darling Water Tint. Ooh, this is hard because I've had some history with this one and I love it so much. And these are still pretty brand new to me. They both have beautiful stains. Ooh, what do I want? What do I, Oh, this is hard. I feel like Milani because I only have this one shade and I only pull it out in the summer where I see myself using this a ton over the year and the shades are gorgeous. The lacquered top layer just adds some extra points for me, Milani. Now we have the Dasic Cream de Rose versus Romand Juicy Lasting Tints. This is very easy for me and the Juicy Lasting Tints are moving forward. <laughs> Moving on to the right, we have the Clio Crystal Glam Tint versus the e.l.f. Lip Tint. I'm feeling very torn because I just rediscovered this and it's a color that I'm really into at the moment, but in that same breath, I had to rediscover it. I forgot about it and the e.l.f lip stains are just always on my mind. I often think of them first when I think of lip stains or what lip product do I want to wear today. E.l.f. is always in the mix, so I feel like it makes sense for them to move forward. Then we have the, oh, that's hard. The Amuse Dew Tints versus the Romand Glasting Water Tints. God, remembering all these names is getting tricky. Ooh, I think it's just going to come down to shades again for me here. I love the quality and everything to do with this one here, but the shades that the Glasting Water Tints come in and just the finishes and just on how unique it is, Romand is also going forward. Back to the left, Milani versus the Romand Juicy Lasting Tints. I always think these videos are going to be fun and then I start having a crisis on camera. <laughs> but it's okay, like it's fine because I get to keep all of these still. It's not like they're actually going to be incinerated for my life or something. Um, but my heart just is going with Milani on this one. I don't know if that's just because they're kind of so new to me, but I don't think so because the quality has been so impeccable and I've been so excited about them. I don't know, but I'm going with it. So now we have the Elf versus Romand. Ooh. I feel like I know who the winner is going to be <laughs> already, but Romand is moving forward. And now we just have two on two here. <laughs> can we predict which one's going to win? I think we can. Drum roll, please. And the winner is Romand. Ta da! I just love this formula so much and the shades are just so gorgeous. I'm a little bit surprised, but not surprised at the same time. There's a few really big contenders here. Obviously, these four here really have my heart, but the Romand Lasting Water Tints are just stunning, and the colors are just absolutely glorious. The shades that I have now are 16 Fig Rise 08 Rose Dream, which is my initial love that got me hooked on this product, 04 Vintage Ocean, 14 Mauve Moon, and 17 Woody Sunset. I think my favorites are Rose Stream and Mauve Moon and Fig Rise. Those are my top three. And that wraps up today's tournament. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll have every formula listed and linked with the corresponding shade that I used listed in the description box. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.